Industrial facilities need to do safety training for a variety of reasons. Uh, just checking the box on compliance isn't good enough. We have electrical workers that are putting themselves in harm's way all the time. They do it on a routine basis and we as a company, it's an initiative of ours to get those folks to change their ways and adopt safe work practices so at the end of the day they can go home with their families. So we keep an audience captive during safety training in a number of ways. We have mixed format and mixed media within the presentation itself. So it's an alternate, alternation between videos or some static slides, instructor conversation, direct contact with our students, demonstrations about actual product. So we really try to get our attendees' hands right on the product and have them use it for themselves. It's taken many years to develop the content the way it is and we constantly are digging ourselves into the codes and standards to make sure that we're keeping up with things, make sure we want to keep our product up to date. And when we learn new concepts from customers, uh, we try and interject them or inject them into our uh, training process so we maintain it, uh, its fresh look. During the process of training, we engage electricians or engaged people who are in our class in a way oftentimes it's something different than what they were expecting. But our trainers really are actively involved in spotting those folks and getting them part of the conversation during the whole process. When we do safety training with people we routinely find skills gaps within the people that are in the class and when we get done with training we'll often get questions so can you help me work on this right in our plant to help take the concepts we learned today and actually use them in practice. So many times when we're done training, we actually spend some time in the plant working directly with electricians on a, a subject, maybe creating electrically safe work condition. The whole idea of opening up a disconnect to physically see if the blades are pulled out, a lot of times could be a new concept for somebody that maybe they're not doing. And what I want our attendees to realize is that the safety recommendations and the training that we're performing is not items that we just decided to include ourselves because they're a good idea. We as a company put ourselves into the codes and standards in a way that we want to use them to help industries be safer, but we also need to validate the training that we're doing so people can be confident in what they're learning and then it goes back to a traceable place so if they're ever challenged on something they know that they can count on a reputable source for that material or information. What sets the training apart within our program is our ambition is to create tools electrical workers can actually use in their day-to-day -day work practices. So when they leave our training, they are uh, actually having new skills and new habits that they can adopt for themselves when they're working on electrical projects. When we're doing safety training, it's gonna become obvious to the people in the class that safety is our number one core value. It drives right through from preparing the training program to the delivery of it and the follow up after we're done training to make sure people's questions are answered and they're getting the help that they need. EBSCO, electrical power and safety company. Safety, diligence, collaboration.